What's up guys, Zumi here, and today I wanted to make a video about my 2020 Aston Martin Vantage. Now, I have never made a video about this car and I wanted to live on YouTube. So here we are and let me walk you through my car and some of the things that I've done to it. Now, if you remember my Camaro before, this car does not have as much done as the Camaro. I went very minute with the mods on this car. I just wanted it to be a little different, but still clean and sleek and I didn't want to overdo it. So let me walk you through and show you what I've done to the car. So right now, this car has the KPMF, um, Platinum Sage, which is a color that I created with KPMF a few years ago for my Camaro. I had to bring it back and put it on my Aston. So here it is. It's this very deep green color that during the day looks green, but at night it's a satin black and it's really, really sick because it changes depending on the lighting conditions. I absolutely love it and I think it looks sick. The car is sitting on 21 inch Brixton forged tr20 wheels and these are forged wheels one piece and the cool thing about it is i have white on this side and then i have gray on this side i did that for the simple reason because it's like having two looks in once and it's great for content because you know you never see both sides of the car anyway so when you shoot this side you get one look when you shoot the other side you get another look and on here, it's got this dope finish that's probably hard to see, but it matches the trim. So, I don't know. You guys decide in the comments. Let me know which side you like more. Personally, I like the white side more, but it's up to you because this side's a little bit more murdered out and it looks clean and sleek. The other side's a little bit louder and more vibrant. So, my signature signature roof box you know i had it on the camaro had to do it on the aston always wanted to do this i i just think it's so cool personally this has always been my dream to have a roof box on my car ever since i saw john olsen do it on his r8 years 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 ago i did it on the camaro i had to do it on the aston and i think it actually looks sick key to this is having the roof box match the lines of the car this is a Thule, um Motion XL. I also wrapped it in the same color as the car so that it feels whole and it gives it this hatchback vibe. Um, so these mounts right here, this is my company. It's called Drackets and it's paired with Sea Sucker vacuum cups. So these cups are vacuum sealed. They're not suction cups, they're vacuum cups. These are for sale. They come in gloss black, satin black, and white. If you're interested, I'll have the link down below but it's a universal mount and it works with absolutely any car you want to put it on. As far as mods, aside from that, there's pretty much it. Honestly, I am thinking about lowering the car, but I also don't mind being able to bulldozer through potholes and not have to worry about if I can and can't fit in the driveway. It's getting old. Yeah, I mean, and I'm getting a little old, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm good. So like I said before, personally, I think this side looks the cleanest. Um, one thing I might add is get a little bit more white on the roof box to kind of tie it all together. But um, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't decide. Let me know below what you guys think is better, the white side or the black side, which side you like more. Let me take you guys inside and show you uh, what I did on the inside of the car. So inside the car, there's nothing crazy. This car has the full suede interior, but what it didn't come with suede was these pillars here and the roof. And I added the starlight like in the Rolls Royce because I just had to do it. I had to do it. And I thought that it would um, make the car feel more luxurious and cooler. And personally, these are color changing, but I usually just keep them on white with the twinkle effect. And I think it's just enough for it to be clean without being too rice. So the car was wrapped by 405 motoring. They did an amazing job. Actually, the car has PPF underneath the wrap and they wrapped over it and you can't even tell, which is super, super impressive if you know how hard it is to wrap over PPF. They did an amazing job, hit them up. 
One other thing is for future mods, I was thinking about changing these out. They sell aftermarket vents for this car. And I think that is probably the only thing left that I would do to this car because otherwise I'm super, super happy and content with it. And if I were to ever do anything else with it, it'd probably just be changing the colors in the futures and playing with some combos. But for now, super, super happy with the car, super happy with how it looks. So yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Let me know what you think of the Aston and we'll see you on the next one. Aston Martin, very good, very good.